Zion National Park, one of the most majestic parcels of land on our planet. Expansive canyons with red and white sandstone cliffs towering 2,000 feet into the unspoiled blue sky. And scattered throughout this incredible park are amazing hiking trails that take you through canyons, along rivers, and up to the most spectacular vistas. But where do you start? Which trail should you select? Thankfully, the park offers a diversity of hiking trails to suit your taste and ability. And though there are many trails in the park, this video is intended to highlight eight of the most popular. These are among the main trails advertised in the park brochure that is available online or when you enter the national park itself. These are the trails that I have personally hiked. These are the trails that are most accessible and without the need of a permit. And though this video will not be extremely technical, for that I'll list some links down below in the description, I hope it will provide you some basic information and clear visuals to help you select the hiking trail or trails that are most appropriate for you if you visit Zion National Park. And with that said, welcome to Zion National Park. Let's get started. Rated as a moderate trail, the Canyon Overlook Trail is a one mile round trip that takes about an hour to complete. It's short, easy, and apart from a few steep drop-offs, appropriate for all age levels. The hike gets a little more difficult as you go, and the trail continues to change in scenery and terrain. In a short time, you will reach a tremendous viewpoint at the end, which offers stunning views into the Pine Creek Canyon below. You'll actually be standing on top of the Great Arch that is clearly seen when driving through the park on Highway 9. There's a small parking lot located immediately east of the Zion Mount Carmel Tunnel. The trailhead is directly across the street. This is one of the few official trails in the beautiful and less visited Upper East Canyon. A 3.3 mile round trip hike the watchman takes about two hours to complete. It's labeled as moderate by the National Park Service. The trail starts near the visitor center and ascends about 400 feet above the canyon floor. Pass overhanging cliffs and stratified rock layers as you move upward into the foothills below the Watchman Mountain. When on the top, you'll get a great view of the majestic Watchman Peak to the south. There's a loop path on top that permits various views into the canyon, magnificent peaks and the lush Virgin River down below. Though often not as crowded as other trails in Zion, this trail is often completely exposed to the sun. An easy 2.2 mile round trip, the Riverside Trail located at the last shuttle stop offers amazing views with minimal effort. This flat paved trail that runs along the beautiful Virgin River is perfect for all ages and abilities. Enjoy the hanging gardens and trees surrounded by the tall weeping walls of the Inner Canyon. The Narrows Trail begins where the Riverside Trail ends. Considered one of our National Park's premier slot canyon hikes, this hike in Zion is often the most desired destination for any visitor to the park. Though the entire trail is 9.4 miles round trip, often taking roughly eight hours to complete, hikers can go in as far as they desire and then return the way they came. The novelty of this hike is walking through the Virgin River as you see towering canyon walls squeeze closer together. Immediately you'll pass by Mystery Falls and then about a mile or so you'll enter one of the most beautiful parts of the canyon a section affectionately known as Wall Street. Near Wall Street is a smaller adjacent canyon to the right named Orderville Canyon that makes for an interesting side trip. As you go further into the canyon, the water will get deeper and the banks on the side will disappear. Because there is no escape once in this canyon, heed the directives of park rangers and never enter when rain is in the forecast. Some prefer to rent special water shoes and a walking stick for balance is nearly essential. The Emerald Pools Trail starts at the Grotto. It's a three mile round trip trail that takes about two and a half hours to complete and is considered a moderate trail. Along the way, you'll see views of Lady Mountain, the Great White Throne and Red Arch Mountain. Start on the Cayenta Trail and head toward the three Emerald Pools, somewhat of an oasis in the desert. The lower Emerald Pool is closed as of 2020 due to a landslide. By the time you reach the middle pool, the trail will become more strenuous. Finally, the upper pool is at the base of a 300-foot cliff. 
Though it will vary with the water level, a waterfall flows from the mouth of Heaps Canyon far above. Please keep in mind that these pools are neither deep nor emerald, and the park prohibits swimming in them. If you're looking to avoid the crowds, consider the East Rim Trail located just beside the entrance booth on the quieter east side of the park. Though the trail is 11 miles each way, hikers can travel in as far as they want and then return to the trailhead. Things are fairly easy the first few miles as the trail heads directly toward the sandstone cliffs. Though often overshadowed by the West Rim Trail, the duration of this particular trail takes you by Jolly Gulch Canyon, through Echo Canyon, past Hidden Canyon, and down to Weeping Rock. The trail begins with a gradual 1,000-foot elevation gain, and then descends 2,400 feet. The East Rim Trail offers beautiful views of the Checkerboard Mason. The Perouse Trail runs from the Visitor Center to Canyon Junction. It's 3.5 miles round trip and often takes about two hours to complete. It's also rated as easy due to its minimal elevation change in paved surface which is ideal for small children, wheelchairs, and those who simply desire a leisurely stroll. This is also the only trail in Zion that allows dogs on a leash and bicycle traffic. The trail runs parallel to the Virgin River and gets its name from the Paiute word meaning bubbling water. There are several access points to the Virgin River that make for a refreshing dip on a hot summer day. And number eight, the Popular Angels Landing. Begin at the grotto, hike the West Rim Trail through Refrigerator Canyon, up the switchbacks called Walter's Wiggles, and then to Scout Lookout. At this point, it's a 4.4 mile round trip hike. This is also a nice viewpoint just prior to the famous chain section that will take you an additional 500 feet to the summit. If you're brave enough to continue, walk along the narrow ledges with a sheer 1,500 foot drop as you navigate the thin rock spine for the adventure of a lifetime. Once at the top, you'll be treated to spectacular views in all directions. This is considered a strenuous and potentially dangerous height. It's clearly not recommended for small children and those with any fear of heights. For your safety and enjoyment, know your limitations and try to avoid the crowds as much as possible. Well, there's a few more trails that we could add to this list. Weeping Rock and Hidden Canyon trails are currently closed as of 2020. And as for the other trails advertised in the Park Service brochure, there's also the Grotto Trail, which is rated as easy, and Sand Bench Trail, rated as moderate. Of course, there's the subway. A permit is needed for that one, but we'll save that trail for another day. Hope you found this video helpful. Again, the goal is not to be technical, but just provide some simple information and visuals to help you become more familiar with the hiking trails at Zion National Park. Please respect creation, treat others with kindness. And I welcome you to follow along with us here at America's Parks as we explore the greatness of our country's national park system. God bless and happy hiking.